Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the MyPal browser on your Windows XP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in case you didn't know, MyPal is an up-to-date or a more up-to-date version of a web browser available for Windows XP. It used to be based on a fork of the Pale Moon web browser, which itself was a fork of Mozilla Firefox. There were some licensing issues with MyPal and the developers of Pale Moon. There was a dispute. They ended up reworking the project into a different version of MyPal, which is actually based on a newer version of Firefox. So pretty straightforward process, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm actually going to use MyPal to go ahead and actually download MyPal here. So head over to google.com and just search for MyPal browser and go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be mypal slash browser.org. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go ahead and select the download tab. And there is an unstable version. I believe they're working on resolving some of those bugs in it. They also do have an older version which works pretty well you know, still to this day, again, it's based on older versions of Firefox, so unless you're running Windows XP, there's really no reason to be running MyPal. But anyway, you can go ahead and either do the old version, which is what you're seeing right here, or you can go ahead and get the new unstable version. So you can either select the unstable version or just the older version, which again, should work pretty good for most of you guys. And go ahead and save it to the desktop. And you can go ahead and run the file and run it. It's a pretty straightforward process from here about just going in and installing it. And select next, standard installation. You can install a portable version as well. It doesn't even have to install to Windows if you choose to not install it. And you select next. If you want to change the file location, you can. And select upgrade and launch MyPal now. And that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.